Okay, here we have the ellipse parabola question that I gave last Monday. <coughs> the ellipse and parabola is the dominant part of the question, so you have to make sure that you show the examiner how to do those and that you can do both those uh, parts of the question. So we'll start off. The question uh, dimensions are shown there. The figure shows the drawing of Star Trek emblem. The curve A, B, C, D, E is based on the needle of a major axis of 150. There is A, B, C, D, E. So, what do we know? We have the major axis, which is 150. We have the centre, which is Q. We have a point on the ellipse, which is A. A is up 37 and out 25. So the first thing to do is to draw the major circle, because we can do that. Now, note we don't have the minor axis, so we can't draw the minor ellipse. So what we have to do in that case is to find the minor circle using the information that we have. We have A. Now if we had the minor circle we would have come down from the major circle and out from the minor circle. And that would have given us A. But we don't have that so we have to work in the opposite direction. So we'll come up from A to the major curve as in the reverse order of what we would have done if we ha had the minor circle. But anyway, come up from that to the major circle, draw a diagonal down to Q, and then simply come over from A, and that locates the radius of the minor circle. So I can draw it in there. Okay, now complete the ellipse. We know how to do that. Simply divide up the circle into 12 divisions using your 30, 60, and then locate the point. Come down from the outside or from the inside and keep um, the lines as light as you can. Use a French curve or whatever you want to do to draw the ellipse, and then we can um, finish our ellipse like we've just done there. Now, at this point, I normally like to look at what can I do to make things easier for the rest of the question. And I, what I would suggest doing, of course, is to lighten up those lines and maybe remove a few. But I'd always leaving a little piece here for the examiner to see how the, you've drawn the ellipse. Anyway, the next thing is to draw the outside parabola. As you can see there, we come up 50 mils like that, and complete our rectangle, because we know it's 50 and 50 here, it's 100 wide. So, I normally suggest dividing it into 4, but we're going to do 6 here. S is our vertex, from where our radiating lines will come from. And we'll draw them all to S, dividing half the length into 6, and the, and the width into, half the width into 6, and the length into 6, and I'll just bring those radiating lines, like that and draw the left-hand side of the parabola. The right-hand side is a replica of that. From S, we draw the radiating lines, making it nice and smooth. And finally, we have another parabola. It's PQR. Q is the vertex. So from the vertex, we will draw all of the other points. Again, I'm going to use six because there's six here and I can borrow from those and draw it in. And finally, complete the parabola and maybe tidy up your construction lines a little bit. But that is the question finished.